Hey, y'all. Um, so I just got off the phone with my son, my 18-year-old son. Well, almost 18. He'll be 18 the end of August. And as we always do, we wind up talking about politics and about Trump. So my son being high-functioning autistic, it's hard for him to... How about it's easier for people to get him to follow um, and to not think for himself. So he brought up what's going on in the States and the riots and the protesting and he brings up Antifa. So I start explaining to him all Antifa is. Antifa stands for anti-fascist. That... This is not a cell. This is not a terrorist organization. There is no organization. There are people around the world who are anti-fascists, who do not agree with or believe in fascism. I happen to agree with these anti-fascists, so I guess I'm an anti-fascist. Now, I tell my son I'm an anti-fascist. I don't agree with fascism. I don't believe in it. I don't believe in dictatorships or dictators. I don't believe that this is the way things should be done. You know, America is a free country. I was raised there. And I believe it should stay free. To say that because somebody is against fascism and to stir up the kind of concern that my autistic son has right now because he's terrified. He thinks his mother's part of some underground terrorist cell because I'm an anti-fascist. That's concerning. That's really concerning. That now my son's terrified because I don't believe in fascism. What kind of world are we creating? Like, really? What kind of world are we creating? When, if you don't agree with somebody's thought process, you're a terrorist or a bad person. The Black Lives Matter movement is so huge. It's such an important thing happening right now. And I'm hoping once this movement's done, other movements can, I guess, get some help you know to move forward and get changes made like the ones we're trying to push through to end systemic racism it's in a person's nature to argue and debate people love to argue and debate People talk about, I hate drama, I don't want no drama, drama, blah, blah, blah. you know what? People thrive on drama, I don't care who you are. You can talk about you hate drama all you want to, you're still out there watching them reality TV, watching the news, watching Trump, guess what? It's drama. It's all drama. It is. You know, prison reform needs to happen. And it's not just in the States. A lot of these things need to happen in Canada, too. They really do. You know... I don't know. I'm taken aback. I can't, I can't get over the fact my son thinks I'm a terrorist right now. That is, that is pretty freaking... That's pretty freaking wild. I'm against fascism, so in his head I've got to be a terrorist because that's what... Trump claims I'm, I am if I'm anti-fa, which anti, anti-fa, fascism, anti-fascism, not terrorist cell. I mean, Jesus Christ would not agree himself with what's going on here. When I was a kid, it was all about what would Jesus do? Everybody wearing the bracelets, everybody always going, well, what would Jesus do? You know? People talking about God. And read your Bibles. Everybody, read your freaking Bibles. 
He who was without sin cast the first stone. You know? Nobody has the right to abuse anyone. Period. And Trump doesn't have a right to say just because people don't agree with him, they're wrong. And they're terrorists. And they're scum. To call racists and violent people who are destroying America mighty fine people. Are you kidding me? I'll honestly say, when I moved to the States as a kid, I did not understand racism, and I still have a really hard time with it. Don't get it. I don't understand hate. Never have done. But, I don't know, it's, none of this is right. None of what's going on is right. It just makes no sense to me. I don't know. What do you think? Like, share, or comment. Tell me your opinions. See if somebody can help me make some sense of this mess. What I'm seeing, what I'm hearing. Like, I feel like I'm in the middle of a war zone. You've got all this stuff going on outside in the world on top of COVID, which Trump's, you know how Trump's going to get rid of COVID? He's going to stop testing people because as long as he's not testing people, people aren't testing positive. So if he's not testing people for COVID, then there is no COVID. People are still going to die and people are going to die a lot quicker. Like, We've had over 20,000 sick in Canada. That's not even deaths. That's just sick and recovered. America's had over 100,000 deaths. I don't know. Tell me what you think, I guess. I really want to do know where other people stand on this, if they feel the same way I do, or, you know, I'm kind of torn, having been raised between both Canada and the U.S., having, I'm a born Canadian citizen, and I carried permanent residency in the States for most of my life. One of my children was even born in the States, in Florida, where I grew up. Um, raised in the carnival business, Traveled, zero stability, like, no protection. I mean, I don't know. If you're poor and vulnerable, you're going to get targeted by somebody, and that's how the government operates. So, yeah. Tell me what you think. Bye.